Good morning, it's Dr. Amit Shah once again saying hello from London and I wanted to bring to your notice a very interesting publication in the Journal of Assisted Reproduction and Genetics uh, from a reputable author, Raul Orvieto and his team, um, which um, is addressing a very important issue. Um, we um, have seen that the recent studies have shown that transvaginal endometrial uh, measurements of subendometrial contractility and computer enhanced 3D modeling scoring of endometrium prior to embryo transfer uh, seems to be showing uh, some better outcomes at predicting which group of patients will get pregnant after embryo transfer or not. Um, Dr. Orvieto and his team had compared um, the conventional method of measuring transvaginal scan endometrial thickness versus the above um, strategy. Uh, it was a single center uh, retrospective cohort study of over 630 frozen thought cycles of blastocysts, uh, which were uh, day five embryos, um, and they were consecutively transferred between January till August 2016. Um, the conclusion have been really exciting uh, and confirms my belief that the age-old method of measuring endometrial thickness um, at minimum of six millimeter trilaminar in nature going up to 8 to 10 millimeter trilaminar in nature seems to still offer equally good and perhaps better outcomes as compared to a rather fiddly way to measure subendometrial contractility which would then become very operator dependent. So as it stands at the moment, please stick to what you know which is measure the endometrial thickness and plan the transfer of your embryos. Thank you.